Hey, Jeremy from Nuanced RT here. In this video, I'm gonna go from go to woe with a CRM, building it from scratch for my Toastmasters club. This organization has a few requirements. We've basically been getting a lot of guests coming to our club. Toastmasters is a public speaking organization that helps people improve their speaking skills. And we get people who come along for one session or they register to say that they'll come and either don't show up or don't return. We want to improve our conversion rate. For that reason, I'm going to set us up a CRM. It's going to do basic lead management. We'll put the contact de details in for the guests, put how many times they attend, if they attend multiple times. And I also want to have Eventbrite integration because we have quite a few guests coming via Eventbrite. I also want to send out automatic emails because we fairly often need to send out the calendar information or even have a bit of a drip marketing campaign where we ask them to give a bit more detail to coax them to come along. I'm going to get started by setting up a new CRM account. You'll note I'm doing this in a fresh Chrome I basically, every time I get a new client, I add a person to my Chrome, which means that I can be logged into multiple CRM accounts at the same time. Let's start. I will create the new account. And I'm gonna the trick I use, I have one Gmail account and if you do a plus after your actual email address you can put anything in there which allows me to have a bunch of different logins using the same email address. And then I will generate a password. I will change since you've seen it. It's going to create me an account and then I'll get cracking with the customization. Okay. Tell it where I am. No option for Australia. Ah. Okay, I quite like this. This must be new. But I don't really need it. I also, I don't really need a advanced version of the CRM. I'm going to roll with the free edition. I reckon I can do most of what I need to do with the free version. But it won't let me downgrade until after the trial. So I'll keep it as is at the moment. Actually, here I go, switch back to free. the club doesn't really have much of a budget, so I don't want to get us into hot water there. Alright, I'm going to start off by customising the modules that I have. I will probably need leads, but I'm going to rename that to guests. And I will make contacts in to members. After a guest signs up, they become a member. I don't really need accounts. I'm going to hide that. And I don't really need visits either. Yeah, I'm not going to need that for now. Okay, now let's play around 
with what fields we have. Annual revenue is not relevant. I'm going to get rid of that. Rating, number of employees, facts, not really necessary. Don't really need address information, but I might leave that for now. I'll move created by and modified by down the bottom. And then I will set up a section for contact details. Don't really need phone and mobile, we'll just have one. And email, website isn't relevant. Twitter, not that important. Skype, I don't think we need that. Okay, and then I'm going to play around with the sources. Delete all the ones in there because they're not really relevant. Basically, going to do Eventbrite. That's one lead source, meetup, direct email, and then member referral, and then also mm, sponsor referral, because so we have a few sponsors. Industry, I don't think that's really needed, I'll get rid of that. Okay, I'll save that. We probably don't re really need address details either. Perfection. Now let's move on to members. Do the same thing there. Assistant, don't need that. Reports to, don't need that. Date of birth, don't need that. Wish there was a bulk delete so I could get rid of everything. Keep those ones. Delete that section. So I want it really trimmed down I'm not going to be the primary user of the CRM, so I want it to be uncomplicated. And I got rid of mobile, didn't I? I only had phone, don't need other phone either. Keep email, don't need home phone, don't need fax. Well, you, to be honest, don't really need Skype ID or Twitter either. Can't really see us using them. And then, get rid of these. The same ones I had. Okay, nice and simple now. The other thing I have is deals. I don't think I really need that at this stage. I'm just gonna hide it, keep it super simple. I could use it for attendance, but don't think I really need it. I've got events, that's probably better. Great. Now we have, I don't know any projects either, but I don't think I can get rid of that. Perfect. It's gone. Let's go back to the requirements. Set up basic lead management. I don't have how many times they have attended though. I'll put that in. Just 
make it a simple number field. I can't create new ones. I'll see if I can co-opt one of the existing ones. I wonder if I can rename number of employees to nah. What about rating? Can I use that? Yeah. Put. Yeah, maybe I'll just use lead status. Okay. Put RSVP'd, attended once, attended twice, attended three times. Can't really, at that point, we'd expect them to convert. And I'll make this as well. I'll set the default value to RSVP'd. And I'll get rid of Twitter and Skype. Perfect. All right. Now let's move on to automated emails. What can I do? I don't think I can do anything. Can I? Can't remember if I actually have access to do anything. In the free version. Yeah, send email, perfect. Let's see. Nah, I can't even send them one. That's all right, I'll do it with Zapier. So I can't really do anything decent with that. I could set up a workflow to email the team at Toastmasters when a new guest arrives. But I probably won't do that for now. I reckon I'll just probably just do it with the API. Yeah, I'll, I'll hook up. I'm going to use Zapier for this. So what I'll do, log into Zapier. Won't have access to the Eventbrite extension. change that later. Okay. So I want to go in here, manage my events. So probably I wonder if there's anything in extensions. to connect it up with Zapier. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's probably what I made. But, 
Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Don't think I can install it. Yeah, can't install it. That's all right. I'll log in to Zapier. Eventbrite and Zoe CRM. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll keep that one. That could be good. Perfection. Add new Eventbrite attendees to Zoho. Connect to my account. Perfection. Yeah, I'll do every event. Get my auth token. Set that up. Good eye. That should do the job. Like, yeah, I'll trigger a workflow. Yeah, I don't give that phone number. Okay, but I would like the event start. Put that in. That should do the job. The only thing is, I don't really want it to create a contact. Because I've got... Yeah, I don't really want that. Might modify this to... Use a lead. Instead. Let's 
which is the frustrating part of Zapier sometimes that it it locks you in if you use an existing one. Start from scratch. Do exactly the same thing that I did before. This time I will set it up to use the to add a lead rather than a contact. but I don't need it to be a required field. I'm going to change that. It's better. We should be cooking with gas. Ah, now it wants me to put in a company even though it's not actually required anymore. If I go back, might have to save it and then go back. Refresh fields, that's what I want. Let me put in nothing. Just do that for now. Okay. Now the other thing I wanted to do was to send emails. I will do that using email by Zapier. Send an email. say hi name looking forward to seeing you at the meeting on to secure your spot you'll need to send an email this master is at standards or .au. So we can put you on the guest list. Because the thing is, we've had a lot of people RSVPing, but then they, they don't actually engage in any way or show up. So I figure if I make it a little bit harder, that they have to 
actually email us and tell us that they're going to be attending. Mm, action required for the Toastmasters meeting. Please let us please include answers to these questions in your email. One, why are you looking to improve your public speaking skills? And two, are you close by to the club it's on Bridge Street look forward to seeing you at the meeting after we put you on our guest list you'll be able to to enter the building by talking to perception. All the best, Toastmasters. See me. Should put the right name. I always forget it. the one. Okay. I love Zapier. It makes it so easy to do this kind of stuff. protects me from my mistakes. I clicked back by accident, but it kept it all. Beautiful. Okay. Let's check it out. I will try adding a new RSVP. Perfect. Now let's check. Oh, it didn't actually work. Did it? Yeah, I'll have to play around with that. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Don't want the contact one. And this one. Did that actually work? Yes, that 
that's the one I added. Let's check our CRM. Brilliant. That's all gone in. Perfect. So I've basically got everything that I needed and it's on the free plan. By using Zapier and Zoho CRM together, you can do quite a lot.